Here we go. All right. Well, welcome to today's uh, cooking class. I'm in my golf attire because I golf Sunday mornings. And now I'm going to be preparing um, dinner for, our, it's our Sunday night dinner. So today I'm going to be making <coughs> um, Epicure's new uh, rotisserie chicken. And I'm going to be making uh, garlic mash and uh, green bean casserole. And I'm going to be talking about all the new products too and all um, how they're versatile to make a lot of different things. And um, so um, we'll go ahead and um, um, get started with the class. So I'm going to introduce myself. My name is Tara Larson and I have been with Epicure now for, I'm coming up to 24 years in May, my gosh. So it's been a long time that I've been um, doing what I'm passionate about and what I love, which is um, doing these online classes, helping people discover just how easy and quick um, and healthy that Epicure can make your meals. So I wanna welcome you all to the call. And um, you know, when I first started with Epicure, I, um, um, sorry, I think I might've heard Gail. Is that you, Gail? Okay. Well, maybe she's not in yet. <laughs> maybe we'll have to do the class without Gail. She can watch the recording. <laughs> so anyhow, um, so when I started with Epicure, I simply just wanted to start because um, I had um, allergies to um, some certain things in uh, grocery store products. So um, they were chemical things like silicon dioxide and that kind of thing. And I couldn't eat store-bought salad dressings or dried mixes or dip mixes or any of that kind of thing. Um, and I also like to avoid uh, gluten. Uh, I'm not gluten tolerant, but if I can avoid it, I prefer to do that. So I love that about Epicure products. And so I decided to uh, get started with Epicure um, just simply so I could get my own products. And then my friends and family were like, well, we want to order too, because this stuff's amazing. So I said, well, I'll put in one order a month. And um, <clears throat> what happened was at the four year mark, I um, had my little girl, Asia, and I was a controller for a land development company, an accountant, and they wouldn't let me go part time. So I decided just to stay home and give my Epicure business a whirl because I thought I love to cook and I love to help people make amazing meals. So I'm going to do that and then I get to stay home uh, with my little girl. And really the rest is history. Here I am at the 24 year mark. I have, um, oh my gosh, a group of over 3,000 people across Canada and the US, um, the Larson National or Global Organization, sorry. And um, and yeah, I uh, decided to just continue on until I thought, well, you know, until nobody wants to have an Epicure class anymore, and here we are. And what I'm finding is lots of people still want to have them because we always have new stuff and we always, um, you know, food trends are changing and cooking methods are changing. So um, here we go. And things have just kept growing. And last year, um, I feel so blessed. Uh, 2020 was a bit of a crazy year, as we all know. However, I actually um, actually had 65% growth in my business. So if you or anyone you may know in your life who could really uh, use a business that they can do online, like I am from my computer, after I've been golfing and um, really work it around their family and their life, please pass along my information or contact me if it's something you might wanna look at. We have an amazing deal on right now where you can get your kit for free or half off. So, um, as I mentioned, I'm gonna be doing this virtual class. I also wanna to talk to, uh, to people about that. A lot of people wonder, well, um, if I was to host one of these, how easy it is. It's as easy as this. You give your friends a Zoom link and in you log, and normally it's very easy. <laughs> but, you know, of course, you know, 
technical issues do happen, but um, I do record them so then uh, people can send out a link if your friends can't make it at the uh, described time. But what are the rewards for you? Well, you get to choose and go on an Epicure free shopping spree. So $100 or more in free products and discounts on average. And if you book today from Gail's class, I have some um, bookings starting in uh, February, um, you get an extra $20 voucher as an extra gift from Bert, uh, booking from her class as well. And like I said, I do it all, I set it all up, um, and I uh, um, run the class, and all you have to do is invite your friends. That's it, easy peasy, and all the orders, Today, just so you know, will be direct shipping right to your door. That's an incredible new feature that Epicure has. So unless you live right next door to Gale, um, you'll want to have your order direct shipped to yourself. The difference in the shipping is $2 on 100. And actually, um, they have one of the deals for January on is reduced shipping. So when your order is over $60, you only pay $6.95. So, it's an even better deal now and again less expensive than having it shipped to yourself um having it shipped uh with the group order if you have it shipped to gail you'll pay nine percent so that's a really neat new feature and that's great for hostesses because you don't have to run around or have people drop by or i mean during covid now of course we're you know doing um porch drops but you don't have to do any of that the only order that's going to come to you is your own so Let's get started on this class without further ado. So I've got my chicken and I've got that out and I'm going to be making the new Epicure uh, rotisserie chicken and this is pictured, this is on our new catalog. So this is one of our new products. It's easy peasy and people um, often ask, well, why did I use Epicure products instead of, you know, like, my own rub or my own concoction or the own thing from the grocery store and there's a few reasons sorry did someone have a question all right okay so one of the biggest things is epicure is low sodium and a lot of these uh, foods that we make are comfort foods that we've made lower sodium low sugar all of our dessert items are a quarter of the sugar of uh, store-bought mixes and they taste like they're from scratch and of course because you have to mix a couple of things into them I mean as far as I'm concerned I made it I made it from scratch <laughs> and then also we are gluten-free 100% the entire catalog even our baked goods and you would not know our baked goods were gluten -free. if you have any gluten allergies in your family or you are gluten-free it's definitely what you want to use because, um, you know, our muffins, the chocolate muffins, they've got our new um, luscious lemon curd mix. Oh my gosh. Consultants are going crazy about that one. And you can make lemon loaf out of it. You can make lemon muffins. You can make a lemon icing. You can make lemon curd. A lot of consultants are like, I'm just making it in the pot and eating it right out of the box. <laughs> It's so good. And it's a quarter of the sugar, so much healthier um, treat. We also, um, uh, our products are uh, certified uh, kosher in some respects, but through the catalog, it has the, um, the dot system there. So it tells you what, um, what's classified, but all of our products are low sodium and all of our products are low in sugar and all of our products are 100% gluten-free and oh and sorry nut-free and we have a nut-free and gluten-free facility so it's not just like we've made other products there that have those things in it so does anyone else have any questions about any of that because I know Gail said that that was really something um a lot of you might be interested in okay perfect so I answered all your questions in that regard um, and okay, so some of the new products, and I want to um, start by talking about those. And um, one of my favorites is this roast history chicken, because when you make it at the store and in the catalog, it gives all kinds of um, comparisons. But when you buy them at the uh, grocery store, there's can be all kinds of things like um, corn syrup uh, solids. There can be really high sodium there can be all kinds of um like 
artificial tenderizers and stuff like that. And why, while it seems like sometimes it's a good option to, why not just pick up a rotisserie chicken on the way home, quick and easy. The one we're gonna make with Epicure, it literally takes 25 minutes in your microwave. And I know some of you might be going, oh my gosh, microwave. You're gonna cook a whole chicken in the microwave? I am. And I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. So we're going to do that in the Epicure steamer. This item itself is the bomb. So I'm going to teach you how to cook this chicken 25 minutes or less, and it is the best, most moist chicken you will ever try, I can guarantee you. But some other things that we have um, that are new that I just want to um, talk about before we get into the class where it's going to flow quite um, quickly uh, making the items is we have a classic meatloaf se seasoning and it makes meatballs or meatloaf and of course you can make your meatloaf in the small steamer, literally meatloaf in the steamer it takes six minutes in the microwave. And I know you're probably all still saying, I don't know, meatloaf in the microwave. Try it. It is absolutely in the steamers. It doesn't actually microwave the meat, it steams it. So a whole different thing. So, um, so those are good. And I'll tell you more about the steamers in just a second. We also have crispy, crunchy lettuce wraps. And you can make um, summer rolls with rice paper out of those, or you can just take romaine lettuce cook up the um, lettuce wrap filling. I don't know if any of you have ever had them at, um, um, oh my gosh, uh, I'm trying to think of the name of that, not Panda Express, but there's a few different restaurants that are usually on the appetizer menu. So ours are a healthy, delicious version. Um, we also have enchilada seasoning. So um, that's super simple to make. Um, it's a homemade version and you just simply put that over top of um, burritos or uh, tacos that you've made up and bake them. Our shepherd's pie is back. Well, that's my all-time favorite Epicure thing. And when we first had that out, I'm like, oh, I don't really like shepherd's pie. That's usually a leftover thing. I don't really like it. Oh my gosh, ours is so good. And I make it with a cauliflower mash instead of a uh, potato mash and top it with that. It's delicious. Uh, we got Thai coconut soup. So I don't know if uh, you've ever had Tom Ka at a Thai restaurant, but it's an authentic Thai soup. And you can put whatever combination of meats you like in it. Um, it's delicious and warming for the winter. And speaking of soup, we also have a wintry mushroom soup. And oh my gosh, everyone's raving about that one too. So the wintry mushroom soup is, um, really really good just to make um it's got uh, cups of mushrooms in it and um it's really hearty also do, i don't know if any of you have ever had uh, pork chops done in mushroom soup and so it's a really good soup to use for that because of course the sodium is nil and the flavor is delicious it tastes like you made a mushroom sauce from scratch you can also use the mushroom sauce to um uh do a, a roast in a slow cooker. Um, there's all kinds of uses for it. We have a creamy garlic hummus dip. How many of you like hummus? It's so easy to make and um, it's super creamy. And of course you know what's in it because the, the sad fact is that the grocery store, a lot of the dips you see pre-made or the hummuses and stuff like that, they have edible oil products to make them creamy. And um, that's why sometimes if you take those ones and you heat them up, they separate and they just become, um, uh, you know, uh, grease with some glue in it. And it's because it's an edible oil product. So wouldn't you rather make it at home and use your own products, use your, if you have dairy alternatives or if you use dairy, but knowing it's sour cream and mayo and that's it, or, um, you know, whatever uh, you like to use to make those types of things, you know, it's just cream cheese. The other thing we have is our savory herb gravy. I'm gonna be making this to go along tonight with our dinner of the rotisserie chicken. And those are our new food products. And then we also have, 
No, not the Epicure scissors. We have a new mini whisk. This one, love this little whisk. It's perfect for, um, you know, a couple of eggs, little sauces. Burned this in here. Oh, good. And um, also, um, it, it doesn't rust and it's um, sealed on the end. It can go through your dishwasher. It's my favorite little whisk. And we also have a, a new peeler. And why is our peeler better than any of the other ones? Mine has not arrived yet, but I can't wait to get it because they say it just, like, it'll peel a tomato. Is that sharp? So um, that's our new um, Y peeler, it's called. So those are some of the highlights of um, what we've had come in new. Now I'm gonna show you how to prepare this quick, easy meal. So normally a roast chicken dinner, oh my gosh, it's a, it's a you know, that's why you do it on a Sunday, because it's an event. Well, this is how quick and easy you'll do this. So all I've done is rinse my chicken. So I'm gonna kind of put this down a little bit so you can see more what I'm doing. So I've got my chicken on the cutting board. And you'll also notice what I've got across my sink. This, I'll just put this aside for a minute, is the Epicure roll-up rack. Can't live without it. I have it across my sink like so. So now, what I'm going to be making is a green bean casserole. You can put your vegetables on it, and then I just turn my uh, tap on, rinse them like so, and then you can leave them sit. Um, you can dry dishes on here. You can use it for so many things. When I take things out of the oven, I plunk them on there. It's a hot rack. Um, when I, um, when I uh, um, you know, want just things, yeah, to like air dry or things like that, even my dish towels after I rinse them out, lay them across there in the air dry. So that's something that I can't live without adds extra counter space. You can put it beside your stove too if you're gonna to wanna to put hot pots on it and that kind of thing. You can also put it on your dinner table. And it's a really funky looking trivet where you could put a couple of dishes um, instead of using like a cloth trivet. So it's one of my can't do without type things. But I've got my chicken here. So <clears throat> um, I'm just gonna take and you put it in and I start, um, because I don't want to lose any of the sauce, so I've, I've rinsed it out, and then sometimes I put a lemon inside, but because I'm making gravy tonight, I don't want to do that. But taking a whole lemon and cutting it in half, and then using Epicure's lemon squeezer and giving it a little squeeze, putting some of that over the top, and then stuffing the lemon pieces inside, if you like a citrusy flavor to your chicken, that is wonderful. Tonight I'm skipping that because I want to do something a little different with it. And I just need to find my, there it is, my rotisserie chicken. I'm going to use the Epicure kitchen shears, which I love. So I'm going to show you what else you can do with them. So this is the seasoning. So this seasons one whole chicken. So I'm going to just sprinkle it on dry. You don't have to add any oil or anything. And I just kind of rub it around a little bit. And then I'm going to turn it over. Sprinkle some more. You're going to use the whole pack on it. This also makes a nice sauce that you can turn into a gravy. So that's what I'm going to do with the herb gravy. And I'll show you what it looks like. Easy peasy, and here's another trick. So I've got the sauce over the whole thing, and I'm gonna cook it upside down. So with the breast, I just had to wash my hands here, with the breast side down. Does anyone know how that would help it um, uh, cook better? Okay, well, one of the biggest um, uh, things about the uh, microwave steamer cooking, and I just put my lid on the top, you see it has vents, is that it makes it super moist. But if you also put it upside down, and this can work in the oven too, 
the dark meat based the white. Mm -hmm. And if you don't really care what it looks like in the end, and I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't eat the skin after anyways, although it's crisped on the bottom side too, um, I don't, it doesn't really matter to me. So it comes out even moister. And the other thing is if you want the skin to crisp up a bit, my husband likes a little bit of, a little bit of that. So I'm just going to grab my salt. So I've got the Epicure uh, salt grinder and if you want the skin to crisp in the microwave, that's all you need to do. You just put a little bit of salt over if you're allowed salt. And this is our Epicure sea salt. They come with grinders on the top and you just simply turn it like this and grind. Best little grinders I've ever found. Okay, so this goes in the microwave um, for just 25 minutes. So of course, <clears throat> when it comes out, all you do is um, take it, put it on a plate. You're going to let it sit for about eight minutes um, because then all the juices actually migrate back into the chicken. And it is the most delicious chicken ever. I'm not going to actually put it in the oven yet because if it's only going to be 25 minutes, um, our household is not ready to eat because it's only 323. So I've got that ready. I'll put it in the fridge. And sometimes I do that. I get it ready early because then the, those flavors, you know, it, it kind of marinates in it. So there's that. And then the next thing I'm going to make is our green beans. And I don't know about you, but I find green beans really tedious to prepare. So I'm just going to, I'll see the the green beans here. So what I'm going to do is I just take them, line them up, make sure they're going the right direction here. But you'll see I use my scissors and I just snip the green beans. And then into, this is the small steamer, and these steamers are the best steamers for vegetables. So here's the thing. Green beans take three minutes. Corn on the cob in here takes one to two minutes for the cob. And um, broccoli and soft vegetables like that take about three minutes. So green beans, broccoli, um, cauliflower, um, harder vegetables, cabbage, things like that, they're about five minutes. And that would be for it to be full. So super, super quick. But if you're not even worried about the quick part, the flavor. The flavor is unbelievable because you're not boiling all the um, taste out of it. And they say, um, Harvard Medical did a study and they say microwave, mic microwave steaming your vegetables is the best possible way to cook them because uh, it's the least amount of time and time, um, you know, heat breaks down nutrients and it's the uh, least amount of water. And water is the other thing that is, um, uh, 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 what do you call it, um, not good for your vegetables because it, it leaches the nutrients out. So I just take my green beans like so, and I cut them into the steamer. It takes seconds. So it's super, super simple. There you go. And of course, I'm not going to stand here and do all of those because I know you don't want to watch me cut up green beans, but that's just one idea to share with you. And I forgot to give you my lemon idea too. So if I was using the lemon in the, the chicken, I always have lemons on hand. And here, I'll show you what I mean. So I just pulled this out of my freezer. And you'll notice it's got a little hole in it. So my lemons are in my freezer and my limes. And all I do is when they come home fresh, I poke a hole, throw them in my freezer, and then when I need one, I can put it in the microwave for 45 seconds and it's ready to put in the um, uh, juicer, the Epicure juicer, or I could leave it on my counter and in about an hour or so it'll be thawed. Now, why would I do that? Because when you actually use one of these in um, a squeezer, or you're trying to get the juice out of a lemon, or the zest, um, for both reasons, it's better to freeze them. 
So if you want zest off this before I thawed it, before I um, um, put it in the microwave, I would just use my zester or my grater and it's frozen. So it zests really easily. So you can get all the zest off of a lemon and then I would thaw it and then when you put it into your juicer, it turns it right outside and leaves a peel because it breaks down all the fibers in it so it doesn't leave half the lemon in the lemon. So there's a little tip for you on, oops, on lemons. <laughs> I got this new tap. It's automatic and it, it scares me all the time because I put it on by accident. <laughs> so um, a couple of other things I'm going to make tonight. So I'm going to make garlic mashed potatoes. I've used our Epicure <coughs> um, uh, roasted garlic I'll use on those. And right now, all I'm going to do with my potatoes is you chop them up, put them into some water because, of course, I'm not going to cook them just yet. And I'm going to be cooking those in the Epicure multi pot. And um, what I love about these pots is that they have all the measures on the inside of the pot. So if I'm making a recipe, I don't need measuring cups as well. You can also use them for soups or stews like that. You can pour right out. It's got the beautiful pour spout. It also has a colander right in it on either side, small or big. So one. Have any of you ever poured the vegetables down the sink by accident when you're trying to strain the water out? Well, you should be using your steamer for your vegetables now anyways. However, for potatoes and things like that, I still do them in um, a pot like this, but for, um, um, you know, spaghetti or pasta or things like that, when you're rinsing it, colander is right on the, on the lid. Not to mention, you can see right inside. And it's the perfect little size and this handle stays cool even on a gas stove. So that's what I want to say about that. And then I'm going to make a couple other vegetables because we're real veggie nuts in this house. And another thing that I like to do is lay out vegetables on um, a sheet pan. Real easy to do in the um, oven. But I have a air fryer. So this is perfect. I put them in there on the sheet pan and um, I mean, they're ready in, oh my gosh, like 10 minutes. And all you do is like a tablespoon of oils to about two cups of uh, whatever kind of vegetables. I do um, our mango curry on cauliflower. I've done uh, broccoli with our uh, roasted garlic as well. And these little quarter sheet pans with these liners. So they come with a liner or um, liners where you can buy separately. But I recommend the liners because your pans, um, it keeps them nice and clean. And after you use them, you just really need to clean the liner. Unless you've done, you know, like chicken or something where you might want to give it a rinse because you might have gotten some liquid on it. So those are wonderful. Some other things that I really want to um, mention that I've used, of course, I had my chicken on my Epicure cutting board. Why is ours better? Because it has these little feet on it, so it won't move. So you're not going to have it shimming all over the place when you're um, using it to cut. Tonight, when I mash my potatoes, I'm going to be using the Epicure masher, and this is also a meat separator. So another thing that's really good in that steamer is round meat. Three minutes. Three minutes to tacos three minutes to um, those lettuce wraps I was talking about, three minutes for ground meats that you want to, um, you know, use in anything like uh, sauces, like a marinara sauce. So I put it on for three minutes in the microwave, bring it out, drain it, and then I use this to dice it up and it makes it all minced. So one of my favorite things, meat separator. But mashes potatoes, guacamole, saves you a ton of time making guacamole. And one other thing that I want to talk about, so I had mentioned that with the green beans, I'm going to make um, green bean casserole. All I do is use the Epicure Alfredo sauce. And then I put some uh, crispy onions on top or some um, almonds that I've um, uh, roasted a little bit so they get a bit crunchy. And it's a nice light green bean casserole because here I'm going to tell you even prepared, unprepared, our, our, a serving of our Alfredo sauce is 30 calories. That's like almost free. 
60 calories if you make it up with the milk as it mentions and it's made with any kind of milk or milk alternative that you use takes um makes four cups and it takes four to five minutes in your microwave or on your stove top. so super super simple and why would you use epicures because it's a comfort food it doesn't taste light so our mac and cheese our alfredo our ooey gooey queso had this on broccoli the other night we have a restaurant locally here and they have an appetizer and it's um, a cheese fondue with uh, broccoli and bread and things like that. So we started making it at home using the ooey gooey queso and um, having that as a kind of an, an appetizer platter where you could put um, different veggies. Um, broccoli is uh, particularly good and you dip it. You just blanch it a little bit so the broccoli is not super crunchy or you use a French bread and dip it into this. It's delicious. But again, this has got 60 calories per serving. You don't even know what restaurant queso has. It's huge. And they taste rich. They taste like they're made with cream and with, you know, the real cheese and all that kind of thing. Not that they're made with fake cheese. They are made with cheese. It's just that um, uh, it's nowhere near the amount uh, that you normally have to use. So last but not least, I want to talk about um, our power up protein. So I use this a lot and I know this sounds really weird, but I'm not a breakfast eater. I don't really like to have a shake for lunch unless I'm in a big hurry. Because I enjoy chewing my food. However, I'd like to get my nutrition and um, Epicure's uh, power up protein mix gives you your daily uh, nutrition. So what I do sometimes is after dinner, I'll make a half shake up and I'll put like blueberries in it. I'll make like a dessert shake, I call it. And um, we've got a few different things that you can do. We've got our chocolate truffle, that would make a delicious dessert shake. And then our summer berry. So I always save a little bit of room and I sip on that after dinner and that gives me my sweet, but I'm also getting all my nutrition. Um, and uh, it's a nice way to end a meal um, in a healthy way. So there's also that, or you can of course make them at breakfast or lunch as well. Uh, what I love about our uh, protein blend is that it doesn't um, contain any, of course, animal products, but it's pea protein, fava bean protein. Fava beans are so good for you. And um, it has all of that, but it also gives you a high amount of potassium. So very, very good mix, and you can doctor up however you want. Um, so that's what we're gonna be eating for Sunday night dinner, and I'm gonna make some of the Epicure Herb Gravy, and I'm just gonna use the juice that comes off the chicken and put it into about another multi-pot. They do come in two sizes, a 12 cup and a eight cup. So I'll use my eight cup to make the gravy, my 12 cup to make the potatoes. And I'm gonna make a nice gravy out of the juice that comes off the chicken. And uh, again, the herb gravy uh, mix. Oh, I've got it right here. This is my Epicure cover, can you see it? And uh, I know many of you have um, the same type of thing. So I think, here it is. So got my gravy right here. 15 calories for the equivalent of half a cup. Who can't afford that? Slather that gravy on. <laughs> so, um, and the savory herb gravy is delicious. We also have a poultry gravy. You could use that as well. I prefer the savory herb, but I like the poultry too. So um, I thought I would change it up a bit because I'm using more or less a chicken stock. Why not use the savory herb? So does anybody have any questions about anything that I talked about? So all of that, really, dinner can be ready in 25 minutes. Who would have thought a roast chicken dinner could be ready in 25 minutes? It might take me, oh my gosh, the prep's super quick too. You saw how quick it was to prep the chicken. I cut up my beans real quick, throw my potatoes in, and really it's raring to go. So probably in an hour's time, we'll be sitting down to a roast chicken dinner. That's the longest. Most of our Epicure packs take under 20 minutes. And all you do is add what it says on the back and what comes out on the front 
is what it makes. And it turns out every time. So that's the part I like. Because you never know with some recipes. So, so there's that. And um, uh, as I mentioned, um, I would love to um, host one of these classes for any of you. And I can do all different themes. Um, my new products arrive next week. So then I'm going to be able to make the um, I'm doing an Asian lettuce wrap class. And I also do one a week on my customer site. So every Monday starting, not this, uh, not tomorrow Monday, because I have a previous engagement, but the following Monday, I'm going to be doing a live stream class into my um, Facebook group. So if you want an invitation to my Facebook group, um, when you send your order or send, um, send me your email, I can send you an invite. And in there, I put all kinds of um, tips and recipes and um, alternates to use our different products for. And I also do the once a week live streaming class. And in that class, it's my customer class, um, there's prizes. Um, I draw from everybody who orders and there's um, prizes in a way. And 15% of the sales go to the food bank. So there's also that too. I also have Epicure Pantry Clubs. If you want to budget for your Epicure, um, it's super simple. You spend $25 a month and then one month you get all your Epicure uh, for free. And it's um, at the minimum $45 in free Epicure plus a half price item or sorry, two half price items and the monthly host is special. So there's also that option. And um, you can all order online. So you've got Gail's link. And so if you order through her online link, she will get credit for uh, your order to her class that she has open. Um, at any other time, you can order direct through my link. Um, you'll be connected to that anyhow. And um, so, so you can just go in and get some things yourself um, or order on that once weekly class that I because I need enterprises. So, um, I think I covered everything. I also have a, a newsletter. So um, uh, usually that gets sent out to your email if you don't want it. It's, there's a big unsubscribe button, just unsubscribe. Um, but in my newsletter and in my personal Facebook group, I offer extra special specials. We're not allowed to offer those publicly with Epicure. So that way I offer it um, to my, uh, my um, customers. And once a year or twice a year, actually, I have a customer appreciation sale where for a certain amount of hours, I have like up to 25% off, things like that. So anyhow, thank you all for coming out. Does anybody have any questions before we finish? I have a question. Okay. Yes. Um, I wondered about the catalog, like to see all this stuff. Is that link on, on the invitation that Gail sent? I, I, I went quickly down. Oh, there's Gail saying yes. I think yeah. it is. Yes, Sherry. Um, okay. If you don't find it, let me know. Um, but I think it's in that email. Okay. I have to go now uh, because it's dinner time here <laughs> in Ontario. And uh, I will check with the catalog and, uh, and I will connect with your page, okay? Your connection there. Well, thank Thanks, you, Sherry. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. So, um, yeah, so the order is going to be um, uh, uh, open. Um, I forget what we decided, Gail. Was it? I think the 24th, the 24th. next Sunday. Yes, yeah, so until next Sunday. Um, and uh, so you can do it on the online link she gave you, or you can just get a list to Gail or I, and we will send you back an amount and arrange for payment. Whatever is easiest for you, whatever you know your techie level is or, or whatever it is, you can write it a list and just send me a picture or send Gail a picture and she'll get it to me. Um, so, uh, and if you go to... Um, Gail's online order link, the first thing that'll pop up is the catalog. And it actually opens like a real catalog online. So you can flip the pages and it's quite nice. I'm not an online catalog person and I don't mind it. Um, 
So there's also that. And I can also include a catalog in your order. If you want to have a paper version of this, you just have to let me know and I will pay for that to send a catalog along to you that you can have on hand because this is good until the end of April. So we just launched it this well, Tara, I'd like to thank you very much and I'd like to apologize for being so late getting in. I don't know what the problem was. I've never had a problem before. And I finally got in, whatever it was, I'm, I'm here. Um, and I'd just like to mention, we have one uh, friend visiting from the US. Did you talk about ordering in the US? Oh yeah, so you um, ordering in the US, don't use the link, just send Gail your list and um, she'll send that to me and I'll, I can uh, ship it direct from the US. So um, you just won't be able to order on that party link because that's a Canadian link. So I'll put it through the U.S. link. Okay. Thanks, yeah. Tara. And one other question. Um, are there any uh, items not available right at this time? There is. So why don't I send you that list, Gail? There's not very much. And actually, one of the things that I really wanted to um, point out that's a really good um, uh, selection of especially our new products. So we have lots of collections where you save. So it's this one here, it's called the Winter Warm Up um, Better Than Takeout Collection. And it contains a variety of our new products and some of our existing products. And then you also get a meal planner. So that's like a, um, uh, you know, mealtime solved, they call it. And then there's also some other collections. Um, so those are in the front of your catalog that you're gonna see online. And, um, you know, so if you're like, oh, I'm a real soup person, you could, you know, get all the soups. So I'm gonna send you, I'll send you the list for both the US and Canada. The stuff that's not available. Again, the lists are small right now, so that's great. Yeah. Because, oh my gosh. In 2020, we just couldn't keep Epicure on the shelves. It was just, it, I mean, can't complain, but it, um, you know, the growth, they could not anticipate the 65% growth. We sold six months worth of stock in six weeks. Wow. <laughs> I know. Well, you know, yeah. it's really here to help people, and especially in these times where you have to cook so much, it gets a little tedious trying to figure out what to make. Epicure answers all those questions. You just go, well, I don't know, what do I feel like? And you can um, pick a package and make it. Um, but also, it's just easy. And you know what's going to turn out. It's not like testing out uh, new recipes or things like that. And although that can be fun sometimes on a Sunday, but um, during the week, I'm going to be in and out of the kitchen in 20 minutes. You know, I want to eat, not cook. <laughs> exactly. And I want to be healthy. You know, I yeah. don't, don't want, um, you know, if I'm going to have Alfredo, I don't feel guilty. I don't feel guilty having this Alfredo. And it's delicious. So thank you all for coming on. And um, I really hope that I can host a class for some of you. So please uh, let me know if you're interested in that. And bless you, the person. <laughs> <laughs> Can't bless you anymore when people sneeze. They usually you know, they're taking off running, but nowadays like it's like an old art. You gonna say bless you? <laughs> so thank, thank you, you very much, you, and thanks, you, Gail. I enjoyed it immensely. I've got a list already made, so I'll be getting in touch with Gail. And you awesome. did record this, Tara. I did record it, and I also send you the recording. I'll send all to that to you tonight, um, Gail, and you can send it out. Okay, because I missed the first half, so I'll be anxious to see it myself. And, <laughs> and I know there's one or two to share it with, at least. So thank oh, yeah. you very much. And okay. thanks, everybody, for joining in. Nice thanks to see you. you. Thanks again. Bye, everybody. Good to see you. Bye. Good to see you. Bye. 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 B